We have spent 13 or 14 years going to school and not one class has been taught or been dedicated to personal finance as a core standard. Instead, we read Shakespeare because apparently drama and comedy is more important than personal finance. This is podcast. Are you guys familiar with the term financial literacy? Uh, yes, I'm, fam- I'm familiar with the term. I am as well. Would you guys consider yourselves to be financially literate? I feel like my knowledge isn't as far along as it should be. I've had to face a few things such as having to manage my money properly, having to sell and buy shoes and clothes, and also having to look at how we'll pay for college. But even with that, I still don't feel prepared to face certain financial situations that I will face in my near future. Yeah, I agree with what I said. I think my knowledge on the matter isn't where I think it sh- where it should be. It's just the fact that I'm able to spend the money that I earn pretty well. I don't really go over my balance, except that I don't really have any sort of way to be able to save that money. I don't really think about saving that money. Uh, I would consider myself to be uh, a little bit financially literate, simply because whenever I have a goal in mind, or whenever I wish to make a purchase that you know is pretty expensive, I'm able to achieve it pretty easily. Um, the only thing is I'm kind of spontaneous with my spending whenever I don't have a goal in mind. Uh, so that would be my issue. But you guys mentioned that you guys don't feel prepared for the future. Uh, why? Why do you guys believe? I feel like I haven't been exposed to the knowledge that will help me be more literate. I don't want to blame one party or another because at some point I will have to assume the responsibility and inform myself. But I feel like more can be done by my parents or by school. For example, at school, we spend so much time on learning things that we may never use in the future, but kind of lack and don't learn th- some, something as finance that will be like, fundamental in our future. I agree. I think it's hard to really blame any one sort of party why I'm not financially literate myself. I just think the general idea is that I haven't really had any long term investments planned out. I'm still a high school student. It's really hard to be able to make some sort of financial goal that I want. I guess like the biggest goal would be to get a, a car, but it, you know, it's something that somebody who doesn't have a long term job yet, it's not really needed. Well, you see, I totally agree with you guys, and uh, especially like in the terms that, you know, we're still very young and it's kind of hard to look to the future um, in that aspect. But do you guys think that high schools can prepare the students more, uh, more specifically making it like a core class? Uh, yes, I feel that schools should be able to prepare students and help them be more financially literate. Yet, I am not really sure about making it a core class because by making um, economics or personal finance a core class, there, there's a population of students who will, really wouldn't be interested in it. And it, it would just be a waste of time to them or because they don't they wouldn't understand the importance of it because although it is important some people wouldn't really care i feel like it's more it's better suited as an elective i definitely agree that schools should have some sort of responsibility to create this as a class uh with my prior point i think it's hard to really decide whether it should be a core class or not because as you stated a lot of students don't really have interest in a lot of classes that we already have for example, not everybody's into science or math, but we're still forced to take it. And a lot of the time, people don't really, how would I say this, access that information all the time. They don't really need it. But with financial literacy, I think it's obviously something that we will be using for the rest of our lives. However, if you're not interested in learning about it at this uh, period of time, then you really shouldn't be forced to learn it. I believe that if we're going to be forced to take a class, then financial literacy should be one of the classes that we're forced to take simply because some of the knowledge even though we might not be interested by spending so much time learning on that topic um eventually you know some things would you know be pounded into our heads and just go on for us forever and you know whenever you know that would be necessary we would have that knowledge at our disposal because it was you know forced upon us uh so that's really why I would consider making financial or personal fi- finance a core class. And um, but the problem is forcing, uh, or not necessarily forcing, but scheduling a class like that already because the school hours are already so long. So would you guys be able to will willing to compromise any other class 
in order to incorporate personal finance as a core standard? Um, personally, I feel like it should be more. It should be intertwined with the with the current economics class. For example, the way we have it at our school is that in the first semester of econo- economics, we look at finance as a whole, and then we, we zoom in and look at personal finance. And I feel like that structure it really helps because it goes along with the class that already exists, and therefore we wouldn't really need to add any more time to school. And it just it it becomes a little bit more interesting. Right. It's the fact that we share the experience, but all schools are really different. I think that. It wouldn't be a huge problem to compromise a class. It's just the fact that the planning of that specific class would be important. How would you be able to cut whatever class you are cutting? And what would be the things that are taught? Well, you see, currently in my senior year, I'm taking biotechnology. Like, what is that even? <laughs> like, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to like beat this class down, but I'm just saying that we take so many unnecessary classes that um, you know that we should be willing to compromise one of those classes in order for in order to make personal finance a core standard. You know, specifically because this is something that we're gonna need for the rest of our lives. Uh, you know, not to mention calculus. Uh, you know, there are hundreds and thousands of students out there who don't wish to pursue a higher education, and so why should they be forced to take you know? a math class that's higher than simple algebra um, just so they can screw around and believe that they're not you know because when you're not interested in the class of course you're not going to pay attention to it and you know the same problem can apply to personal finance but you know at some point in time uh, you're going you're gonna to see the importance and you know just kind of relate to this information because you know the the information that is taught in personal finance isn't exactly complicated. It's uh, just simple stuff, but that people don't really follow because they don't, because uh, there are just so many issues with uh, our current, you know, economic statuses. I agree that being able to be taught, you know, there's like these skills that early on in life would be important. Just the fact that right now we aren't really pressured immensely with many studies. We're still high school students. And I definitely agree that it would be important just in general to find a way to incorporate time for this. Because right now, we're, we're growing, we have a lot to do, but we aren't pressured enough where we can actually break the time to be able to learn these skills. Well, I would like to thank my guest, Marcel, Marcel Camontes, for being here, as well as Samuel Hernandez. Glad to be here. Thank you for tuning in onto this episode of podcast 127 i'm your host andres enriquez